replicate yourself. And you went to college at East Tennessee State, and you also were a world-ranked racquetball player back in your younger days, 11 or 12 years old. Did you take any lunch money off your buddies? Uh, yeah, I played I played a few guys in college for some money. It was a lot of fun. It was just, you know, uh, I guess people wouldn't wouldn't always believe that you actually had played in the past and stuff. So it was, it was uh, I'd give some uh, guys some nice head starts and play them for some money and just, yeah, makes their money. Is there any, any uh, carryover maybe from playing racquetball to golf that you can learn from playing one that you take into golf? Um, I'm, I'm not sure. I mean, you, you have the hand-eye coordination side of it, and you have, like, generally a lot of speed, like, th like through the hitting area. But besides that, I, I would it's kind of a lot of different different movements, different muscles. But definitely just being, you know, the athletic, the athletic motion and just the hand-eye coordination would be the biggest things. Well, 67 years, see very nice play, and hope we get back out again today. Continue your fine play. Whit, back to you. All right, Phil, thanks very much. Yeah, we hope so, too. Today's coverage is brought to you by Rustolium. You say it, we build it. It's as easy as web.com. Well, unfortunately, the weather took up most of the day here at the Rustolium Championship, day number two. Some of these players have been done for several hours now, including Dowie Vanderwalt, who shot. One of his career bests yesterday, Whit Watson, Craig Perks, back with you. Unfortunately, as we reach the end of our broadcast window, the sun comes up. It's fortunate <laughs> for the players. It's unfortunate for us as viewers because we will not be able to bring you much more of this second round. These players being sent back out. They'll go till it's dark here in northeast Ohio and then an early start for them tomorrow. Yeah, how good is the guys that uh, Dowie Vanderwall and, and Dustin Bray and Shane Birch that have already finished their rounds mm -hmm. of golf and they can sort of just wait out. But the other players will come back very early in the morning, complete their second rounds, and then they will repair, split tees on Saturday and uh, hopefully that we get good enough weather that we can get sort of back on schedule and, and get this great golf course to be shown on this tour. Mentally, when you're in situations like this as a player, how do you keep yourself in the game? Well, you've, you've dealt with it throughout your whole career. This, it's an outside sport, but I think you've just got to be completely focused on the shot at hand and what the task at hand, and that's how you deal with it. Hoping for some better weather here for the weekend. They'll come back out early tomorrow for third round coverage. We will be here at 6 p.m. Eastern time with round three at this Rust Oleum Championship, hoping that the weather will hold off for Saturday and Sunday. For Craig Perk, Steve Rukowski, Phil Blackmar, Jane Crafter, and our entire crew here in Northeast Ohio, I'm Whit Watson. Thanks for joining us for our second round coverage. Hoping we can stay dry and get it going for the weekend. Round three tomorrow on Golf Channel. This has been a presentation of the only worldwide network dedicated to the game, Golf Channel, part of NBC Sports.